we go ahead and start the meeting. We've got three of us here. Okay. Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, so we call the meeting to order. First on our agenda is approved minutes of April 15th. Any questions or comments? Yeah, I, I had some. I guess um, the part where we I think I think you know in essence the some of the the words are there but not all the words and the things that are missing I think kind of shape the document a little bit or shape the meeting a little bit more. Um, my response here in the top of page two when we're talking about rescoring and Randall expressed his frustration over having the position rescored but unable to go up on the pay rate whatever that was and then uh, he just he, you know disheartening he specifically mentioned me okay it, that does not reflect that it, it seems it says that Francine Tishman remarked but it didn't say that he mentioned me and so I responded to what he said so I would like that cleared and I, I guess the, the, you want that worded? I'm not sure how to word that. I think you should say it the way he said it. Randall I don't said, remember exactly he, how he said it. He said, Francine advocates. He said something to that effect. He mentioned me. He did not specifically, which is why I took exception. Um, Francine advocates for some and not others, I think is, I don't remember exactly what it came, how he said it. So well, he, 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 did, he did mention me by name. And that was why I responded. Okay, I'll add that in. Um, I do applaud Francine. I did not hear him say her name, so I could have missed that. Um, so that's okay. That's why I didn't. Um, okay. I'll go back and, and watch it, as painful as it is. I will go back and watch it and see. But that was my recollection of otherwise okay. I, I don't think I would have reacted. But yeah. I think he yeah. said um, he heard rumors from select board. I don't know if he mentioned you directly, but you you I know you responded that you took I thought he did. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'm happy to change it. I I don't okay. I don't know. Okay. And then I think when we start on talking about rescoring and i guess what's not reflected in here was the conversation that um when we were talking about the assistant um treasurer collector the, we were um hearing from jen about some of the duties that we weren't seeing in the job description and that's when it came to light that the job description had not been updated and so um that that's not reflected in here and i think that's an important point so you thought that i i, I don't think the job the description was not reflected I think what Jen was describing to us as we were talking and going through it was not what was we were reading, and and that was right. the, that was a discrepancy, and that was brought up. Reading. Okay. Okay. I will reword that. Okay. And then finally, and and then you know before passing this, I would like voting on this i would like ken to be able to um if we want i can reword it and we can re-vote on it okay. we vote on it next yeah. meeting that would yeah. that, would be, that would be good yeah so we'll table it and then the the other concern was um when we talked about um rescoring all positions when when I when I said that I think Ken's concern was that we were rescoring positions without changes in job descriptions mm -hmm. and that 
we were presuming that they were incorrectly scored by people prior to us, which means to me that, um, you know, we're kind of second guessing what other people were thinking at the time that they did it. And I don't know how you get that in there, but that was that was that was his concern as 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 well as mine, because then that would mean that going forward, everybody, every group would like rescore everybody else's work that occurred prior. Well, that, yes. that would create that would create potentially. I'm not saying it would that's have. That's in the prior board's opinion. Yeah. So. That, that's all. It would create chaos. I think it would create chaos in the town. Okay. Is that yes, all right? So. Anything I to add? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll make a motion to tailor that into our next meeting. I'll second. All oh, those in favor? Richard, aye. Tishman, aye. Slattery, aye. Okay, so it'll be tabled to the next meeting. Okay. Okay, next is open time for the public. And I don't see anybody. Jennifer is muted. Jennifer, did you have any input at this point or are you just here to listen to the meeting? I'm, oh, I'm pretty much just here to listen um, and yeah, I'm just going to listen to the meeting. Okay. And then see, I don't know what, I didn't even see the agenda fully so i normally get it in my email but i haven't had access to my email all day because they were switching my computer over so yeah okay you don't pick it up from the town website or from the email, my town gov yeah you should just sign up to get over there i used to, yeah well i and i do get it on my work computer but i didn't have access to it yeah but i can go in there now <clears throat> okay. Next on the agenda is PCFs. Um, Counts on Aging Volunteer Coordinator Florence Counts increased to meet minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Did you want to vote on them all together? There's four for the same reason? Yeah. Can I, just, can, we go, can I just ask if maybe we could go on to another discussion item until Ken got here in case he wanted to weigh in? Okay. I know we have a quorum here. I don't. I don't really don't want to hold up business, but what do you think? I, I'm fine to wait. Long yeah, long. that's that's fine. <laughs> Next is request from Lucy Dahl and the bylaw committee to review proposed bylaw for feedback. So she just briefly emailed me and asked um, that our board review it and give us any feedback. That looked good to me. I don't know what anyone else's thoughts are. I didn't, I thought it looked pretty good. It kind of looks the same. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, um, there's nothing that sticks out that I feel strongly about. Um, and it's really not up to us. I think she just wants our input, just our opinion, but we don't vote on this. This has nothing to do with us, right. their bylaw. You're, you're okay though, because these bylaws are gonna, I just have to disclose I'm on the bylaw committee. Actually, I'm the chair of the bylaw committee. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to participate in the conversation. I'm going to just record what you say. But it's important to us that if you see anything in here that you don't agree with or that you would like to see change, because we're going to every committee asking for input. Mm -hmm. Okay, because these are going to kind of be the rules that we all live by going forward till the next right. Are they still going to remain elected? Is that the, did you want them to remain elected members, the three members? Or appointed? 
No, they're for these. Uh, what are you talking? I'm talking about. Uh, what, what are you talking about? I'm Does sorry. Is some bylaws for elected officials, elected and appoint, appointed officials? Yes. Oh, uh, you're talking about the other thing you sent us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about this. Okay, elected and appointed officials. Yes. New article. Okay, yeah. we're on the same page. Um, the proposed changes. No, I'm just asking if you, you plan to keep it the same, um, where three people are elected and two are liaisons versus all elect, um, appointed by the select board. Those are the PBB bylaws. This is this is a bylaw that's covering all committees and boards. Mm -hmm. The PBB bylaws is is not not part of this piece. Okay. Well, it's how people are elected or appointed. Which which section are you referring to? Um both elected and appointed. So two, within the first month of the fiscal year for appointed committees and within the first month for elected committees. I'm just asking if they're going to stay the same way. It seemed like, um, as I'm reading, it just seems like um, people are more appointed versus elected. And I just want to make sure that we're not going to change our board to appointed. Well, no, because our board is an elected board. Yes, we are, but these bylaws could change it if they saw fit, couldn't they? No, no. No, this is really about conducting business. This isn't about how people are elected. Okay. If you read it that way, um, okay. tell me how, how we could clarify it, if that's what it says to you. Responsible for paying everything. And honestly, any changes in bylaws have to ultimately be passed by the town. Yes. Let me see if I got anything more from Ken since we've been on. <clears throat> No, nothing more. Okay. Okay, I think it to me looks it looks pretty good. It's it's mm -hmm. pretty standard. It does. I was like, um, the second page is proposed addition, so it's an addition to the first page. Because when I was reading the second page, I thought it was a change, but it's just in addition. To, addition, yeah. So it doesn't change the elected right. um, component. It's fine to be, in my opinion. Okay. And what about the other one, the proposed addition? Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. I yeah, think I, I know, but okay. I don't have any suggestions or issues with it. I think basically what we were trying to get at is to make certain that the people who are, whether they're elected or appointed, are participants in the meetings. Right. I mean, that's, you know, you got to be here kind of thing. Okay. So if you folks are okay with that, and um, Ken has, the, the finance committee has already reviewed these same things because they're going to each commit. He already knows. But, but maybe we'll ask him again if he has anything else that he hasn't already said. Yeah. In, in, about this group. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. And, and this I don't want to hold up things. Uh, I know I wanted Ken to be able to be part of this, but I don't want to. Yeah, I don't see anyone voting down this. I don't no. think 
with you, and I know he was for it. Yeah. All right. So, I think he's going to vote on this one anyway. I'm sorry. No, that's true. He wouldn't have voted. He wouldn't, he wouldn't uh, vote on the first one. Council on Aging. Right. Okay. So I guess we'll. Sorry for the sidetrack. Let's go back. That's I all right. You want to go back to the PCFs, Chris? All right. Yeah. I thought he. I thought he would be here. Okay. So we've got Florence Teresa Collins. She's on the Council on Imaging. She's going to go from 1224 an hour to 1350. And it's my understanding she's being paid by a grant. Is that how she's being paid? Yes. Okay. As far as I know. That's what it says um, okay. on the account to be charged on the PCF. Then we go to Carol Goulet, who's in the library. Um, she's a substitute librarian. Was she a librarian? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, she's also going from 1224 an hour to 1350. These are going back retroactive January 1st. That was my understanding. I never did math on that. I didn't think Carol Goulet was actually, I thought she only worked now through the grant at the 20 bucks an hour. She's not even, she doesn't, she's not an employee anymore just doing the library work. I don't think she subs anymore. She doesn't. Ah. Again. Okay. But anyways, I, I, I just wanted to say that, but I Hello. can. Who, who turned in these um, these PCFs then? Ed. Well, Barbara and Ed together. He handled it. Maybe Barbara. Maybe Barbara plans on using her again then. Perhaps. Yeah. I think across the board, anyone that gets hired as a sub will be thirteen right. fifty. After yeah. These. Because her other job is on on a on a special funds from. Yeah, <clears throat> the CPC. Okay. Yeah, and so that they it's would a lot more money too. <laughs> work in the library as a substitute. They would pay this. Okay. Hi, Ken. We're just going through the PCFs now. Catch you caught up. Okay. Thank Should you. we also be voting um, to increase minimum wage and increase any non-employee wait any employee that's not making minimum wage to minimum wage? I know the select board support that. Oh, I just lost my Zoom. Right. I thought that's what this did. I thought this. I don't. I just mean for like all higher. There, I lost my, my view here. I don't know what happened. Um, for anyone else that comes, are they going to get 1350? That's just the way it is. It's just the employees that are in the position. Who, who, who else are you talking about? I'm, not, I'm talking about any new hires that come along. They have subs come and go all the time. Well, if if they've got subs coming in, then they should be they should be at the basically the, what the minimum wage is 1350. I can't imagine. I agree. I just that. didn't know if we need to have an official vote on that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Just so there's no problems with future employees. Yeah, we should draft something up. Um, have something in writing in order to, and then vote on it. You know what I'm saying? To have a paper trail. Um, I can put something together for the next meeting. Yeah, I, I would. I would prefer to have that. That way, we have the paper trail if needed. Mm hmm. Um, is everybody in agreement with that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I motion to approve the PCFs to increase Florence Collins, Cara Goulet, 
Judith Pullen, Cynthia Lucier, and Barbara Thompson to thirteen fifty an hour to meet the minimum wage requirement. I will second. All those in favor? Richard I. Fishman I. Flattery I. Cole I. Okay. Next on our list is the wage scale review. I sent everybody a spreadsheet of what I've been working on. Jennifer had sent me a spreadsheet and I took out a few columns and I started updating employees. Um, what we need to concentrate is a grade and step and making sure we have, I believe we have all the correct hours and rates but we have to work on the grade and step and come up with a plan for that. Right. Uh, sorry, but did we do that request from Lucy? Yes. Okay. Um, we just, we are all, all of us are fine with it. Did you have any suggestions or? Um, no. no, I just want to make sure it's been done, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Um, so who provided this information? Jennifer. It's a very rough draft. This is right. from 2000, I think this is from last last year. So some of the employees have come and gone. I don't know. I updated the best I could from what I know, but I'm not really certain. Looking at the salary scale, the salary. So I yeah. sent you. Okay. Yeah, that probably does need to be. It definitely updated. needs updated. Yeah. Yeah, because it's from last year. Mm hmm Yep. I added some columns, grade and step at the beginning, and then a grade and step. Um, what would, for fiscal year twenty two, if they're going up and to what? So then we can place in there what grade people are actually at. Correct. And place them in what steps so we can place them on the wage scales that you created. Yep. Okay. It's really a guesstimate. We all have to sit down. I just wanted to try to get something on paper. Yeah. So based off the classification and compensation plan that the personnel board uses. Correct. So we shouldn't wait. Nothing else has been approved at this point. So we shouldn't be using um, the plan that Art Lawrence had submitted to the board in February of 2020 at all. That was not approved, Jen. Correct. Well, I'm just wondering because I know that um, the increases on the budget are being based off of that information. I'm not sure. So why. I'm just wondering how you can base increases off information that was never approved. Uh, it should be based on our current wage scales. Correct, but that's not what's being used. <clears throat> right. Well, then that's gonna have to be up to, I think it would be the finance committee to, to mention something. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that, what? I mean, I think as the personnel board, it's your purview to decide which classification and compensation plan the town uses. We're going to use the one that's been approved by, um, yeah. we're not going to use something that hasn't been approved by the town. 
Yeah, so that needs to be made clear to the, I guess, maybe Finance Committee and Select Board that they can't use the Art Lawrence um, plan to decide um, on any wages. Um, unless they approve it. Unless the Personnel Board approves it. No, um, unless the... Select board approves it, I believe this is the how it select goes. board doesn't ap approve the compensation plan. That's up to personnel. That you are an elected board and you get to approve that. And you also get to approve the wage scales. The select board is only proving um, the budget and the money. I guess I'm confused at what we're trying to do here. Yeah, me too. We got trailed off into something else. Or... Yes. No, I'm sorry. It was, I'm just, I just wanted to add that in to make sure that I was correct in that we're still using the same compensation plan because right now for the budget, the select board is using Art Lawrence's. For the purpose of these wage scale review that we're doing, we're using the current scale. Okay. Okay. We're not using we, the not approved study. Okay. But um, there are a couple positions missing here on 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 this spreadsheet. It's not final, and this is a very okay. rough draft. What's okay, missing? Yeah, I'm looking. I didn't see Ed. I didn't see Lucy. I don't see Jen. I think it was narrowed down to hourly is why. So we can put um, the department heads. So we're missing Lucy. And who else? Jennifer, are you on there? No. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to put, um, I'm going to put Ed in there. Lucy, Jen, Ed, who else is missing? I mean, that's all I saw from the, off the top of my head. Oh, uh, the accountant, is she on there? She right, the accountant. She's on there. That's there, yes. Do we have the town clerk? Oh, that's the, Lucy, isn't it? The accountant position's not on there either. Right. I think. Um, okay. We don't usually. I think I might have took them off because they negotiate their. Well, I know Jennifer and Lucy are elected. I don't know how their wages are determined. And I know the other two are negotiated with the select board. And they're nowhere near as on the wage scale. So I don't know. Is Randall on here? Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, because he doesn't have a He's contract. Yeah, too. I, I don't know how his is negotiated as well. He's not negotiated. Well, how did they come up with this amount? He's Randall doesn't have a contract. He just gets, if there's 2%, if there's a quota given, that's what he gets. How did they come up with the why initial doesn't, amount? Why doesn't, I'm not sure how they came up with the initial amount um, if they negotiated with I don't him mean that. That. Okay, let, what is that, Ken? Sorry. Why doesn't he have a contract? Um, because a highway superintendent can only enter into a one-year contract, and he um, doesn't want to do that. So he would prefer to be without a contract, even if he could get one for one year. That's my that's the impression I'm under. Yes, huh. is it his choice? It's his choice. Yes. And and the other department heads are three year contracts. No contracts are there. Fire chief is three year. Police chief is three year. Um. I don't have a con like me and Lucia are elected, so we you know we don't have contracts. Um, right. COA director is paid hourly as of now, so she has no contract. And I don't know if she's Mass General Law sets who can and can't 
have a contract and how long of a contract they can go into. So I'm not even sure if um, the her position would be able to enter into a contract, but right now she doesn't have one. Assessor doesn't have one, Board of Health, no. Building Commissioner, no. Um, is that it? No, oh, yeah, Building Commissioner. Do we have Building Inspector on here? No, that's what I was just saying. I need to put it on. He's missing. And how is his, how'd they come up with his wage? <laughs> I don't know where it came from. So I think that I think that he did. Did he sit with the select board, Francine, at all? No. No. So I think what they did with him because he wasn't he doesn't have his building commissioner license like the previous building commissioner did. So they when he was hired, basically. Well, they reduced the hours from 35 to 32 and then reduced the pay. And based off that, if he got his license, his pay would be increased. But it was so it was built off of the prior building commissioner's salary with a reduction for not being licensed, basically, and a reduction in hours. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the water commissioner is not here. There's no system. No. Um, Water commissioner or water superintendent, I believe. He's under a contract, isn't he? I believe he is. And that and that that's between him and the water commission. Yes. Okay. Well, I would like to. Um, Because I just got this this afternoon, so I, I haven't had a chance to look at this. Mm -hmm. um, to take a look at it um, a little more time. Now, this is. And, and the grades, how did you find that from the documents? From current um, grades that we scored from job um, descriptions, I had the grades on them. Prior postings. So I can quickly, um, you know, well, when I, I can ev eventually update that if you want me to update that so it includes all employees that are non-union, non-contracted. Is that what you would be looking for? Yes, that would be very helpful. I can send you um, an updated copy of this. Okay. And why are there no numbers on there for fire? No numbers, zero, because they're on call and they're very random. But we still have no idea what they earned for fiscal year 21. I don't have that information though. Well, we don't know okay. if you, you want. But. Um, I mean, I can add the employees in with their wages that currently work, but there's no, you won't be able to tell off their wages what they're actually making because they may work two hours in a week. They may work, you know, 80 hours in a week. It's all over the place. So it's hard right. to, there's no consistency. Yeah. Do they still get, do they still get the, um, the on-call stipend? So to speak, they're on call to get, get a certain amount. No, because they sleep over now. They have, you know, okay. shower, and they have somebody 24 hours. Okay. I to think about that. 
And where, okay, so the changes when people have were increased to 1350 haven't gone in here either. I see a couple below 1350 for the fire, for the fire primarily. Oh yeah, that hasn't been updated. No, it hasn't what... been. It just got approved on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just yeah, looking, making sure that what we did, you know, gets... Are all the people that got um, approved to minimum wage, is that going to be retro back to January 1st? Is that in the PCF? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, let me make sure all of them say it. I think they all say it. Make sure the council on aging. So why don't we, um, I hate to even do this. Why don't we table this until we get an updated report, um, report to move forward? Because it's not used, not worth working on an old scale or old wages. And then start from from there. Yeah, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Martha and Joan are both exempt now. Right? Yes. So when we do the budget, we're going to have to base that off of a salary and not an hourly rate. Just talking out loud. I'm yeah. just looking at this spreadsheet you already sent me. You're so efficient. <laughs> if I don't do it right away, I'll forget. <laughs> so we, we can still keep the hourly rate for exempt. I mean, that's not going to be an issue. Um, from what I read about exempt, it means it's salary. It is so salary, would, but you, you can still keep, yeah, I mean, you know. But they would keep all of that yeah. amount. But it would be based off of 32 hours. Say, for, say the person works 32 hours a week, they're going to get paid 32 hours a week times that hourly rate, but there's not, they're not going to be able to add extra hours to that salary. No, oh, they can work 40 hours and they would still only be paid for 32. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm confirming. But in the budget, a salary in the budget and then an hourly rate, the way it's um, calculated comes out with different figures. What, what do you mean, Jen? That doesn't because make sense. Salary, because an hourly rate, you would take, say, for instance, $20. Say someone makes $20 an hour. Yeah. And say they work 32 hours a week. So you would take 20 times 32 times 52.2, and yeah. you would get 33408 Whereas salary... Um, it's just divided into 26 payrolls. So yep. when you have that last payroll of the year, that split salary people aren't on that second one, only hourly are. So the calculations are like slightly off for salary. Oh, yes, it's hourly. always been that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm saying is yeah. that yeah. it would just be calculated a bit different in the budget. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if that's how it was done. Yeah, there will always be that. There will always be it. Most of the time, there's always a difference in the very last payroll of the year. Yeah. So I make a motion that we table this this wage wage um, review, so we have time to look at it, get a new new updated report, um, and put it on the agenda for the next meeting. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Slattery aye. Richard aye.
Oh, you didn't hear me. Tish my eye. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, <clears throat> I'll say I for now. <clears throat> I just, no, I'll leave it at that for now. To, to, we're just tabling it until we get more information. Yep. Want to update the re, um, the spreadsheet? Go from there. But this, this is not going to have any bearing on the budget. Not at this point. No. <laughs> not to my understanding. Not. Yeah, I guess that's one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This whole wage study is just to figure out how much it would cost to bring everybody up to current wages. So that would have to be voted on first by us and then by the select board and finance. So it's just a beginning process. Yeah, this is this isn't going to happen anytime uh, next month or so. I want to make sure we do this correctly and take our time and, and have discussions um, to make sure that it's done. Like I said, we're doing it correctly and it's and fairly. Okay, any comments on that? All right, next up oh, is the rules and regulation review, which is ongoing. Yeah, we kind of put that on the back burner too. So I don't know what everyone wants to do about it. It might work if we just say, here's the reading assignment for the next meeting <laughs> and just chunk it out that way. And if you want to do 20 pages at a time or 30 pages at a time. I think we left off on page 36. Right. And we all have homework assignments. Yeah. yeah. That way. Are these everything that we have talked about, Robin? So, yeah, group? everything there is what we've already discussed as a group. Okay. Nothing has been officially voted on. There's suggestions right. by all of us. Great. So, we could do that, Paige. So, we, I think it was 36. Bereavement military. Okay. 36. The rest are pretty much policies. If we want to try to read through the policies um, to the end of the um, book and try to discuss them in our next meeting. Policies and forms and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in terms of policies, um, what do we use as a reference? Because things change all the time. Is that through the state? Do we go to, you know, I, I, I wouldn't know the, I wouldn't know the office. I guess it would vary based on what the policy is, right. just to make sure that we're up to date and consistent with what the law is saying. That yeah. that's the tough part. Well, there's a lot that we have to do to stay cons to actually get up to date to what we should be with the state, um, like the sexual harassment policy and training. We do need to do that again. That has to get updated. Um, there's. Yeah, I think we should. A lot of it, I think, has to do with the um, it's out there in boards. You can go through the DOR, you got the wage and the wage. Um, I'm going to think straight tonight. The wage uh, um, 
Why can't I think of the name? Help me out, Robin. Yeah. Oh, no. so the state with the wage, uh, wage fair and late, you know. Fair um, Labor Standards Act? Yeah. It's Fair Something. Labor Standards Act. <laughs> yeah. Workforce. Uh, there's, just, uh, there's all different aspects. I think we have to change our working from home policy after COVID. That would, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, so this is that to me, this is going to be the toughest part. Yes. You know, a lot of this stuff, I mean, we can we can look at other towns online. Um, there is a, there is, an, and Lucy has asked for this, and I do hope some way that at some point there's funds to find it, but there's a, a, a company called E360 that reviews bylaws and makes sure that they're in compliance or with changing state laws and things like that, and they update things for you. So if we went to a town or a city that used them, that uses them, and we can find out who they are, we could go and look at what they have on these topics and kind of copy it, and model it. I mean, we did a lot of that with the bylaw committee because we, we don't have a lot of legal resources. Right. Doesn't a lot of this just mirror state? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Who put this together? Did Mr. Lawrence have anything to do with this? Yes, he did. He was on the board at the time. Okay. I'm not sure who else. Okay. Any comments on our work in progress? No. I guess I we should start reading um in our spare time, page 36 on, and review um, state policies, or like Francine said, other towns' policies. Yeah. And I'll even uh, not check with, with where I work. Um, we just updated our personal policy laws um, and see how they, what they go by for that. Mm -hmm. That would help us out a little bit. How about Westfield? Do they do they update theirs every year? Well, I have a new um, personnel director, and he said he was updating um, from the last municipality he was at. It was all approved by legal and whatnot, so right. he was using theirs. So he's in the process of doing ours. Okay. Maybe we can use those too. Yeah. Okay. We have any new business? No. I, I just wanted to mention that, Ken, one of the things you missed was the bylaw on committee membership, but you already did it through the finance committee unless you had more more comments. Um, no, I don't think I did. I guess so. This is the, uh, sec section three. Mm -hmm. 
section 3A1. Yeah, no, I didn't. The only, the only other comment I would have is that exclude employees. <laughs> yeah, the the, the um, I, I just wanted to mention to you, I made and I sent to you and to Mary the changes that, you know, comments are made from the Finance Committee on this. That's not this document. That's still a piece of, of a work in progress. No. And this was just to get the comments from this committee's perspective to add to that, you know. Okay. No, I don't have any at this point. So the other thing, um, Francine and I mentioned at our last meeting, she sent us the personnel bylaw, um, which I distributed in the agenda. Mm -hmm. That used to be the first few pages of our rules and regulations. So somehow it got separated. But it is in the packet, and it pretty much it explains what what we do, what our charges. Right. So I don't know why it's not part of our rules and regulation. I don't know. Um, it was at one point that it's meant to be separated. I don't know. It was until it was done over in 2016, and then they just never added that piece in for whatever reason. And they just decided to not use it, or they, I don't know, it's separated as two separate documents? Yeah, I feel like it's separated as two separate documents now. Like, this is our bylaw, and this is the bylaw we follow, and then these are our policies and procedures. Yeah, it used to be one document. So yeah. Some it gets split up. I, I think almost, I mean, almost every committee operates that way. They have a set of bylaws, which, and then they have their rules and regulations Patience, yeah. and different things. I mean, they could be put together in, in one piece, but they are, they are two different, two different items, two different intentions. Okay. What is the, um, in one of these, this one? Oh, I think that's the one from Trin. Right. The bylaw committee. Yes. What is the wage and salary administration program? Where, where are you looking? First paragraph. Uh, right up there. All right. Yeah. Wage and salary administration program. I'm sorry. I. Me either. Is this the? Maybe this isn't your form. I, I don't know what. What does the heading say? It says Article Twenty One Personnel Policies and Procedures. SB 121719. Okay. Did that was that part of this this me this meeting documentation? Uh, I don't. I think it was part of the personnel bylaw. Right. Okay. Now that we're on the right document. Um, yeah, I mean, I know, I know what the, the regulations are. It's on the map. The, um, you know, personal policies and procedures that we're, that we're um, in the process of reviewing. But I've not seen any document that is entitled Wage and Salary Administration Program. But it looks like we're charged with that. I guess everybody else is as curious as I am. 
Was that given to us last week? Ben? Yeah, it was in the packet. That's what Francine had said that, um, right, it's the... This one, yes. Yes. The second page? Um, yeah. Yeah, which used to be part, first few pages of our rules and regulation. So now it's two separate documents. And Ken's just questioning um, something on here. I don't even know if this is an official document, Ken. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's in, well, in quotes like the personnel and policies. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know why it was separated. I don't know if they updated it. I don't know if we're missing part of it. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's part of because all of that is within quotes, so it must be a uh, must have been a single publication at one point. But I don't know. I can't answer that. It's not. It, it's not within this, is it? We wouldn't. We wouldn't know if we haven't reviewed. <laughs> we haven't reviewed the whole document. All right. I was just curious because I didn't. I hadn't seen any of that in there. Talking about look into before. it further for our next meeting. Oh, and you question uh, and the fact that this started and first approved in 1988. Right. And it looks like, according to the trail here, that the next time it was updated was 2013 and then again in 2016. Right. Responsible for the establishment maintenance. Well, in 20, I think I'm on mute. Turn it. The, and I, I guess the, well, these, in, these emboldened uh, are just recommended changes anyways, because it refers to an annual compensation plan too. So I guess that's being suggested that there be one. Anyways, this, I guess I'm kind of out of order because that's not, it's not on our list. Um, can I ask a, we're in new business now, right? Yep. Okay. Can I ask if there is, um, any plan to develop an organization chart for town departments, the town? What do you thing? mean, like for a grading system? Like a list with all of our grades for each position? No. That, what kind no, of? No, just listing, you know, who's in charge of what, how it starts from the top, and then who reports to whom. There used to be one. I don't have it. I don't think it came from the personal policy board, but there used to be who answers to who. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So there, you think there was one? I think there was one at some point. There was one, I think, many years ago. Yeah. Like in the early, what, 90s? But would that, would that come from this? Board. I mean that. Who answers to who? Seniority wise. Well. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it it addresses that, but I guess it just basically shows how the organization, um, you know, is functionally established, functionally, if you will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can create something. I mean, I. The only reason I ask that is is that I found out through, you know, through my, my tenure here that not everybody reports to Ed. You would think that where he's the chief financial officer and you know, and the town administrator, that everything would go 
to the most senior person, but that's not the case. Yeah. yeah. So I guess an organization chart would, you know, pretty much focus on uh, how, what the workflow is or isn't. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I think it's a good idea. I, I like to see the structure, and I think that would help people understand a little more. Right. And I, uh, quite honestly, I don't know whose purview that falls under. Right. It crosses, right. It crosses several lines, I think. Yep. Uh, I, I, will, um, I will check with Ed to see if the select board has anything. Um, right. And if not, well, we can try to see. It doesn't hurt to make a list of all of the boards. Right. Answers to them. Um, the elected officials who answers to them. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, who answers to the town administrator, who answers to the select board. Right. And ultimately, everybody answers to the town. Exactly. Right. I mean, because that's, that's the top. Right. Mm -hmm. This would deal with the day-to-day -day responsibilities of the employees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like there is one floating around somewhere. I don't know how up-to-date it is. Yep. I don't think it changed too much. I think at the time when... When we had one, it didn't. We didn't have a town administrator, right? Mm -hmm. There was just the secretary. Um, mm -hmm. That's how old I think that one is. I don't know if there's anything been created since then. Right. Um, but yeah, we we should have one. Okay. Uh, the, uh, another question I have is where. Where are all the personnel files maintained? Upstairs. Well, Jennifer has some, and then we have a copy of all the PCFs and the scorings upstairs in the file cabinet. Her, um, so Jennifer would have all of their new hire paperwork, all of their benefit paperwork, um, any kind of, um, uh, if they were out of work on workers' comp or whatnot, anything like that, she would have all that. Mm -hmm. She should have a copy of all that. All their PCFs, a copy of all of that. Um, yeah. Certification, she should have. Okay, so that would that's pretty much then. It sounds as though that's the central location for. Yes. Personnel files. Okay. So they're not maintained in the respective departments. No. I'm sure everybody, I would hope they have a copy, but I don't they're know. They're supposed to have copy. copy. Yeah. Right. Or they should have copies. Let's put it that way. The personnel policy, doesn't that actually state where? I think so, Jen. Where files are held? I think it does. I think, it's a, I think it says a central location, but it doesn't. Ah, uh, okay. And once we uh, can actually um, get back into the town hall, we should be able to go through hopefully have meetings where we can face to face, you know, be face to face with each other and take a look at what we have in our files. Yeah, the file would be in the meeting room upstairs. Yeah. Where we meet. Okay. Okay, That's a good else? question, Ken. Thanks. Okay. Any other uh questions or comments? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm good for now. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah.
Can we adjourn this meeting? I move to adjourn like the meeting. Tired. Hmm. I'll second. Okay. All those favor? Richard I. Flattery I. Fishman I. Nicole I. So you all have a good evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Same to you. Good night. Take good care. Night. Bye.